Stop says the Air Force this week on PCS moves. Permanent change of station. What a lot of us as agents and lenders deal with, with the military moving from one location to another, have now been frozen for the Air Force. Now, what does this exactly mean for all of us? If we look at the Air Force memo that was just released this morning and yesterday evening, we've released an article as well that we'll have in this email. The Air Force is running short on their funds appropriated for military personnel. Now, fiscal year 23 is where they're saying they have an issue. Now, a unique thing. I was a contracting officer myself, myself in the Air Force, so understanding how this one works a little bit. The fiscal year technically ends in September. It's not all the way to December. And what they're saying is, hey, we're running out of funds essentially up till September. We now need to pause everything so we can make sure we catch back up. The Air Force is estimating they got about a $200 million deficit. The Army hasn't released it yet, but we're hearing in the wings that there might be a delay there as well because their deficit might even be a little bit bigger. Why? A lot of housing costs were a lot higher when moving folks for PCSs and uh, other changes too because it's not just impacting PCSs. They're pausing bonuses for enlisted members. They're pausing aviation bonus pay for flyers. So big change in Air Force policy just announced. We're wanting to make sure we give you that news, but then also give you some little leeway, uh, so some feedback on what we expect to happen here. Haven't been doing this for nearly a decade now, working specifically with active duty military families. This isn't the first time. And for a lot of you, same thing. You've seen some of this before where we get a big freeze pause. And recently, some bases out in like North Carolina and uh, down in Florida did have some pauses for a little bit. Now we're just going to see this maybe a little more Air Force wide and potentially Army wide. Haven't heard anything though on the Navy yet. But what do we see before? In 2020, if you agents who have been working since 2020 remember, there was a freeze on all PCSs during COVID. And we saw for almost three months, everyone just stopped. And it was a pretty scary situation. But what occurred right after? A flood. All those folks that they had PCSing that they were planning and moving in March, April, May kind of time frame were then all just pushed into July, August, September. And if you guys can recall, it was a wild time there, middle to end of 2020, specifically when dealing with active duty military. They're stating the same thing right now in the documents that so they're not necessarily protracting every, pushing everything back. They're essentially delaying it and pushing things into the next fiscal year, which technically starts in October of this year. But most likely we're going to see those PCSs starting to happen next spring versus this winter. So almost think about it this way. For those of you who understand some of the military speak, you, you generally have a summer cycle in a winter cycle of PCSs. We essentially are pushing the winter cycle of 23 into summer 24. That's what we're expecting to see. So we might all have a little bit calmer end of years here. Might need to take advantage of some of that time if there's some time off, but then we really need to buckle in and be ready potentially for a wild and good spring 2024. My name's Evan again. Please let me know if you have any questions for this. Hopefully this helps you go out there. We're going to win, close, and list more deals, even if it's not right away, but in another few months. We're excited to get working for you. Take care. Bye-bye.